The message of the kingdom of God is the most important news ever delivered to the human race. Jesus came to earth to announce the arrival of this kingdom and to establish it in people's hearts through his death and resurrection. As the son of God, Jesus Christ was the exact likeness of his father and represented him perfectly on earth. To all those who believed in him and followed him, Jesus restored their citizenship rights in the kingdom of heaven and imparted his spirit so that they could represent him and the government of heaven on earth. This representation is known as government diplomacy. The following statement is a political statement that is very common to all kingdoms, including our contemporary governments. Quote, And I confer on you a kingdom, just as my father conferred one on me. End quote. Luke 22, 29. This statement is always used at the appointment of an official representative of a government to other nations. This is the position of an ambassador. This is not a religious designation, but a governmental one. Every nation appoints ambassadors and envoys to represent its interests to other nations. The kingdom of heaven is no different, as it is the prototype of kingdoms. God chose to communicate the message of his kingdom throughout the earth, not through religious people, but through personal representatives. God's chosen strategy for proclaiming his kingdom was to employ ambassadors. An ambassador is a political appointee whose job is to represent and speak for his or her home government before the rulers of other countries. In the eyes of those rulers, the word of an ambassador is the word of the government that he or she represents. Good ambassadors never speak their personal opinions, but only the official policies of the government that appointed them. In the same way, the people of God are his ambassadors on the earth. Scripture clearly teaches this. God chose Moses to deliver the Israelites from slavery in Egypt, and then to represent himself before them. Prophets represented God and spoke his messages of warning and judgment to a nation that had turned away from him. In 2 Corinthians 5.20, Paul writes, quote, We are therefore Christ's ambassadors, as though God were making his appeal through us. We implore you on Christ's behalf, be reconciled to God. End quote. As ambassadors of heaven, we represent our Father's kingdom on earth. If we are to be effective, it is important that we understand what we are talking about. An ambassador is a unique political creature in all kingdoms and his disposition must be understood fully in order to appreciate the power and distinction of this revered position. Here are some very paramount qualities of an ambassador. Appointed by the king, not voted into position. Appointed to represent the state or kingdom. Committed only to the state's interests embodies the nation, state, or kingdom, totally covered by the state, is the responsibility of the state, totally protected by his government, never becomes a citizen of the state or kingdom to which he is assigned, can only be recalled by the king or president, has access to all his nation's wealth for assignment, never speaks his personal position on any issue, only his nation's official position, and his goal is to influence the territory for his kingdom government. All of these qualities and characteristics are embedded in the message and ministry of the kingdom of God and are perfectly exemplified by our chief ambassador, Secretary of State, Jesus Christ. All of these also apply to each citizen of the kingdom of heaven, who has been appointed by the government of heaven to represent heaven on earth. This is why Jesus admonished us not to worry about anything concerning our lives, but to focus on the kingdom. Then everything we need for life and fulfilling our kingdom assignment on earth will be provided by the government of heaven. Here are some ambassadorial statements and references expressed by the king, Jesus himself, regarding his diplomatic duties and representing his heavenly government. These he transferred to you, who have submitted as citizens for the kingdom of heaven. John 5, 17 Jesus said to them, 
My father is always at work to this very day, and I too am working. John 5:19. Jesus gave them this answer. I tell you the truth, the son can do nothing by himself. He can only do what he sees his father doing, because whatever the father does, the son also does. John 5:30. By myself I can do nothing. I judge only as I hear, and my judgment is just, for I seek not to please myself, but him who sent me. John 6:57. Just as the living Father sent me, and I live because of the Father, so the one who feeds on me will live because of me. John 8:26. I have much to say in judgment of you, but he who sent me is reliable. And what I have heard from him, I tell the world. John 8, 28 and 29. So Jesus said, When you have lifted up the Son of Man, then you will know that I am the one I claim to be, and that I do nothing on my own, but speak just what the Father has taught me. The one who sent me is with me. He has not left me alone, for I always do what pleases him. John ten thirty seven. Do not believe me unless I do what my Father does. John 12, 49 and 50 For I did not speak of my own accord, but the Father who sent me commanded me what to say and how to say it. I know that his command leads to eternal life, so whatever I say is just what the Father has told me to say. John 14, 9 through 12 Anyone who has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Don't you believe that I am in the Father and that the Father is in me? The words I say to you are not just my own. Rather, it is the Father living in me who is doing his work. Believe me when I say I am in the Father and the Father is in me, or at least believe on the evidence of the miracles themselves. I tell you the truth, anyone who has faith in me will do what I have been doing. He will do even greater things than these, because I am going to the Father. John 20, 21 and 22 Again Jesus said, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, I am sending you. And with that he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. I declare that we are also ambassadors of our heavenly government, representing our government's mind, will, purposes and intent to the earth so that his kingdom can come and his will be done on earth just as it is in heaven we are charged only to speak what our government speaks not our own personal opinion or views therefore whenever an ambassador is asked to comment on any issue he is obligated to speak his government's position he simply quotes the constitutional the bible position on all matters Go and be an ambassador of the government of heaven, not of a religion. Study your constitution to know and understand your government's position on all issues pertaining to life.